Beep, 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 beep. Please. Yeah. Today we want another storage unit. This one's kind of strange looking, very odd. I'll get your opinion on it when we get there, but there's something right in the front that could be worth a ton of money based on a little bit of research I was able to do on their crappy picture. So let's hope that pans out. But before we go, guys, do us a huge favor and leave this video a like. We're trying to make December our most liked month of like the last three years and we're really close to doing that. So please help us out. And if you're new, make sure you subscribe because we do videos like this pretty much every day. Let's get on the road. So here we are guys, five by 10 storage unit, pretty full all the way up. So we paid $320 for it. Why? I'll explain. There's something right in the front that kind of gave me hope that there's something in that unit. Let's do it. So let me explain my rationale here. You guys that buy storage units know, let me see the phone, this is how they take pictures. They're like, all right, let's take a picture, snap. Okay, let's take this one, let's take this one. They do this the whole time, you can't see anything. So I could kind of see this pirate ship here. And the only thing I could think to do was to take their picture, put it in Photoshop, brighten it up, and then reverse image search it on Google. And we got these crazy like pirate ships that are worth hundreds, some of them in the thousands of dollars. So that was my only really bit of hope. Plus it's only five minutes away. Let's see how that pans out. First thing we got is, an, oh, this is like a rocking chair, it looks like, doesn't it? Yeah, that's an old one. It looks like an like, old rocking chair. All right, reminds me of Cracker Barrel. <laughs> <laughs> it's got a couple slashes on it, it looks like, or like scratches, but overall, good shape, good shape. Let's see what this giant pirate ship is. So look at this, it looks like one of those things like you take outside, like you know the houses that come outside, the little plastic houses for yeah. little kids? That's what it looks like. But it looks in great shape. What? But it looks in great shape. Yeah, it's gigantic, it's gigantic too. Let's put it together. Oh yeah, let's see. So I don't know how they go. And then we got. Well, I guess that was holding up the microwave. <laughs> and then we got what are these the doors? I think they go on the side. All right. So this all of it? How does it go together? Oh, I get, get the the mask. What mask? The mast for Where the pirate ship. <laughs> yeah. Can't forget that. All right. Oh. <laughs> uh, come on. oh yeah. I don't know how it goes together right now. We're gonna put it together. <laughs> We're gonna put this whole pirate ship together. We might just sail on out of here with all the treasure. <laughs> So look at that, the pirate ship has been kind of put together, not all the way together because we got to take it back apart. But I'm sitting here looking it up now that it's complete and I found it. It's actually a toddler bed. You can see right there. Yep. And they have it listed for 300 bucks or 309 bucks. So if we get half of that, like 150 bucks, usually we'll, we'll get reselling something. So not a bad find, not a bad find. Not the giant thing we were hoping for, but eh, it happens. All right, so when we moved the pirate ship, the microwave came tumbling, so. Let's kind of make sure nothing's busted inside. Hamilton Beach. Ooh, Hamilton Beach. It's like brand spanking new. Yeah. Look at that. Aha. That should be an easy 25 bucks too right there. Because it's Hamilton Beach, it's not just some crappy Walmart brand. And it's brand new. So happy with that. I also see this CPU tower sitting back here. Let's see how old it is. Brandon loves to wipe these things clean and see what's on them. It's actually a Windows XP, so doubt it's gonna have very much value probably little to none i know you could scrap them for like five bucks but you like to see what's on them so maybe five bucks for that let's take this out come here come here and see what's in it and guess what we forgot to bring like always 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 so like we said it looks like it's gonna be mostly kitchen stuff Ooh. Happy Valentine's Day. If this is the old chocolate, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> oh no, it's like a set. Cool. Look at that, it's like a little dish set. Let's see what it says on it. Japan Design Imperial. Hmm. 
I have no idea if that's something that's gonna be expensive or just a cheap little thing somebody picked up at like Walmart last minute. I don't know. Let's oh, set it no down idea. here just in case it is expensive. And the only other thing in here looks like a bowl. Home the, is where the heart is. Okay. It's a uh, Lennox. And yeah, just basic kits and stuff other than that, unfortunately. So they also have a six foot Christmas tree was still in there. This will be at our probably our dollar yard sale this weekend because yeah. I hate Christmas trees. I can never get rid of them, no matter what. Like even right at Christmas time, it's like here's my brand new one for a dollar, and I'm like, eh, I'm really feeling going to Big Lots and buying the same thing for sixty. I'm like it's brand new right here for a sixtieth of the price. No, I think I'm gonna go buy a new one. I'm gonna choke people. Um, this says pillowcases. Really? Oh boy. You have an entire box of pillowcases. My pillows have one case, one case, and it'll use them until they literally disintegrate. <laughs> this box is legitimately all pillowcases, but look who it's going to. Now we know why. <laughs> Karen. It's going to a Karen. But look at that. That's gotta be like 30. Oh, look, is it? No, it's supposed look to be some shoes, box. but I don't know why somebody has this many pillowcases. Do people like change their pillowcase depending on the day i don't know i don't know either that's really strange to have that many guys i just want to say that there's a suspicious spider that is constantly behind my head and i do not like him here but i do not have anything to him with <laughs> he swung at me too like when i walked by to come in here he reached out like he was going to do something he's got a little bit of an attitude probably might need an attitude adjustment here i don't like second. how he looks might have to take him out might have to we might have to do that next box right here let's see what we got this looks like it might be more. They have this stuff wrapped in pillowcases too. How many pillowcases does one person own? Honestly, there's gotta be like 50 in here. What is that? Hmm. Just a um, big blue bottle? Yeah, it looks like an absolute vodka bottle. Great, my favorites. Are these all bottles? Like really? No, these are just cups, huh? Virginia, some festival. <laughs> so just kitchen stuff. I'm not gonna take it all out. You guys, I'm assuming everyone here knows what cups look like, right? Cups. So I just had a little roller coaster, right? I see Nike box, and I'm thinking, sweet. And then I look on the back and I'm like, are you kidding me? Small pillowcases. Who has this many pillowcases? Look at it. This is the second box full of nothing but pillowcases. How many beds do you have in your house? What? I don't understand people. I really don't. One thing buying storage units is you try to understand people and you realize that you're going to give yourself a never ending headache if you try to do that. Just don't try to understand people. This guy legit just took another swing as we walked by. So I don't think we have any choice but to act in self defense now. Act in self defense. He's got to go. <laughs> I'm, I'm always afraid when I kill spiders, I'm going to miss him. Ah! I got him. No, he crumbled up. Yeah, that's what you get. Don't be attacking people when they walk by, boy. Back up your words next time. So this box says Paris themed doodads. Very specific, you know? Have you ever bought or sold a doodad? Mm. We all have. Who says doodad? This person. <laughs> uh, they're just a Paris box with nothing in it. Yes, it is. All right, Paris themed doodads. I'm gonna take a box and put stickers on it. That's not a doodad, that's a box of stickers. What the heck is this? Look, it's closed. It's closed. Oh, There's not a price tag on the bottom. Four. What did it come in? Well, it came in a $5 box. Something storage Paris. It might just be a storage box with nothing in no, it. No, this <laughs> one's heavy. That one, other one was okay. light. This one's got some weight to it. Unless it's like <laughs> one of those Apple boxes. No, it's got stuff, stuff. in it. A plate. Okay. Um, another another plate. plate. And a shoe. We found one of these before. Hmm. It doesn't have Aren't any markings they, on it, does it? No. I thought they were... I don't, I don't know. know. I feel like I don't remember anything, right? No. <laughs> I thought they if were worth something. <laughs> random stuff like this, I don't remember it either. That. Is that a bottle with stickers on it? Yeah. There's something else down hey, that, there. That's the stuff that goes in that heart set. Oh yeah, it I is. Like what is this? Come here. Oh, my goodness. Eiffel oh, Tower. it's the Eiffel Tower. Look at that. Cool. Uh, I've only been to this, the one in Kings Dominion here in Virginia. I never got to see the real thing. <laughs> Doesn't look like that one. No, it's like a, it's blue, but it's what one third scale replica or something. It's pretty cool when you're a kid. But as I've gotten older, my fear of heights has gotten terrible. I won't even go near it no more. Not for me. Um, there's another one. Look, little glass. Yep. Um, 
other than that, it looks like just glassware. Yeah, the rest of it, besides this, everything else is candle holders. I don't know what this is. What is that? <laughs> like, I hate when I'm just going through the unit and I just can't identify nothing. I'm like, what do you have? What are you doing? What is this? This looks like some weird vial of like chemical X that somebody's just <laughs> unleash on the world. You know what it also looks like? A giant like game board piece. Oh, it does. Like, sorry. Yeah, like, sorry, sorry, game board piece. Okay, these people, this is just weird. Let's just put this box back together and go on to the next one. You gotta know, if you have 10,000 pillowcases, what do you need to go with 10,000 pillowcases? A box with 10,000 different colored sheets. Literally, it's full of, like, 30 different kinds of sheets. I don't know what these people got going on, but it's starting to get on my last nerve. So we got the little kid's art easel, which isn't a little kid's art easel if it's not written on with permanent marker that won't come off to destroy the whiteboard. And written on the chalkboard side with marker too, because forget the whiteboard style, we won't ever do it on the chalk side. So I doubt this is gonna come off really. I mean, I'll try to spray it and see if it'll come off and we sell it like that, but pretty much every time I find those, they ruin that way. Let's play the guest game. What do we got? Weird, unidentifiable objects, sheets, or pillowcases? Let's see. Dun dun dun. If you guess sheets, you are correct. Congratulations. You won some weird person's used sheets. Congratulations. They're yours now. All right. Now we got this one right here. That is taped to death. But at least these Not people really. only use the four pieces of tape. Not like the other unit to put a billion on every box. Oh, we got more kitchen stuff. Woo! Yay! More cups to go with my other cups, to go with my sheets, and go with my pillowcases. You know what? I think at this point, so far, I might be able to retire after this. I mean, we have to be at a half a million dollars so far from this unit, don't we? Easy. So now I got a box that's not labeled. Did I see the label on this side? Yeah. Oh. Karen's bedroom. Okay. That could be good. Karen, what does a Karen have in their bedroom? Like. It has like a phone book with all the managers of every store within like a 20 mile radius in there. <laughs> Let's see, hey, look. Ooh. A dream vision. Dream vision. Oh. A bunch of toys. Um <laughs> <laughs> uh, this like all little kids' toys. McDonald's. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Don't do that. I was doing that first. I love it. No. <laughs> um, well. Just a bunch of freaking toys. What does that say? Rare. 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 They have French <laughs> stuff in there. The French T Rex. <laughs> um, well, all I'm seeing in here is random toys and a dinosaur thing. and a treasure map. So, you know what? <laughs> we'll take the treasure map and hopefully we'll go find some treasure. This box has some black tape. Maybe there's something better in this one. Let's see. And it looks like it's going to be more toys and not all toys either. Like a Darth Vader has their candy in there? No. Ford F-150, it's what we got out there, except it's black. Um, little, these are cheap VR sets. These come from like five below. Actually, this is Batman. That might be worth a little bit something. It looked like the ones that come from five below. Yeah. Not gonna lie. Uh, what is that, like a bath bomb type thing? Dig and discover. Ooh, look, there's gemstones in it. Ooh. Oh, I feel like we gotta do that. Yeah. There's another one. They paid a. Three dollars. Might be high value in there. There's another one. Uh, lots of little trucks, though. So, I mean, these little things could sell for a little bit. Not a whole lot. They're not like the old metal ones or anything. They're all plastic ones and newer ones. So, overall, you get like two for a dollar. This might be like $15 worth of stuff in there, maybe. All right, so we have a bag here. Even what's more exciting than, I know it's hard to think of something like this, but what could be more exciting than pillowcases, pans, and sheets? You know what it is? Christmas lights! Oh, yeah, you know what? All I'm missing so far, if I can give me a dirty mattress out of here, this unit's pretty much got everything you could hope for in a storage unit. But you know what? We're into the back yet, so I'm not losing hope until we get every last little thing out of this unit. There's gotta be something in there worth something. This one, let's see, do we have more sheets? Oh, please be more sheets. <laughs> um, what is this? A stuffed Valentine bear. I'm gonna Ooh. do it again. Don't sell it. All right. We're having a yard sale tomorrow. I swear if that thing but, ends up outside. But I like this one, I might keep it. All right, now sell it, please. I don't want it in the house. <laughs> 
Um, this one has a bunch of paperwork in it. Woohoo! Paperwork too. That's another thing we haven't found yet. But now we got that. Now we're just looking for the mattress. We're gonna find it. So we got a fragile box. What's it say? Bathroom. Maybe some people keep their jewelry boxes in the bathroom, right? Maybe. Let's see. All right. Oh! I'm gonna scrap with this box in a second. After I go through it, me and this box are going at it really quick. What's in your bathroom? Um, hmm. This mystery concoction? <laughs> no, it's soap. Uh, what it's else? My bathroom box. I know, what is this? Why is this in your bathroom? Why? Um, decor. Oh, it has like those little things that people burn and put in there to make it smell good. Oh. That's for after you do do. Uh, hey, at least it's in the wrapper this time. Yep. Uh, well, nose drops, and it was a gas relief. Holy. Is that, no, hold on. Is this like well, nose drop? It says Pedia Care, so I'm assuming it's for kids. Okay, but I didn't even know that's connected. It looks like it goes in the nose. It has a little thing at the tip. I don't know. I don't know. This is weird. Getting too weird for me. Let's box it up and move it. So, we got tape off this box, and it looks like one of my other favorites. We have pans and pots and that kind of kitchen stuff. Usually this is our $1 a piece at the yard to help with the best. So we sell them all for a buck, that's $15 maybe. So we had a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles little trite thing, right? I'm gonna run you over with it. No. Yeah. Uh -huh. And guess what? I'm not giving you my insurance information. I'm gonna write you a fake note that makes it look like I'm writing it down. Stick it on your windshield. I'm gonna leave the scene. Oh, I got you on camera. <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't. No, you don't. This isn't me. Shh. So we got a booster seat too. Usually when I see kid stuff like that, it's a turn off because usually that means it's all gonna be like that cheap toddler type stuff. And so far we're finding a good amount of it, but not all of it. So I don't know what else could be in here. Let's pull out this little thing right here. Well, there's a scooter. We'll get to it in a second. Let's get this out. A puzzle. Oh, you move that. Can we please, I beg if you have something of value. A heater, for like a buck. What's that? Blu-ray? DVD I think it's, yeah, DVD. Dang it, can you even get a Blu-ray? Come on, I see a lot in something. Whoa, what was that? Ah! Stuff fell. <laughs> it's a scooter. I want to scream right now. <sighs> Nothing's in there. It's just a block. Of course it's a block. Well, it's a shelf. Yeah, it's just a shelf. Uh, well, let's see what's in this. Please. This got something. Can we have something valuable? I doubt it, but let's see. Some headphones. Whatever that is. Perfume. Uh, what's this? Bluetooth speaker. And that's all. Of course that's all. Uh, some DVDs down there. What's the Aladdin thing? Puzzle. A puzzle. Um, times four. Eesh. Well, not seeing much else, but these are all photo albums right here, so nothing of value there either. So, a little white table here. And, sort of the cars? Yeah. Cars, scooter here. Is there anything on the table? Nope, just plain white. So, let's set them out really quick. I guess I'll bring out this tote. Sure. What's your guess? Do we have Christmas? Do we have sheets? Do we have pillowcases? Do we have paper? Guess the game show. I want a random box. Give me a random. That's where all the good stuff is. <laughs> oh, it looks like we might have paper this time. Boxes down oh, there. no. Hey, something random. Ooh. Oh, my god. Wait, I see camo. That's a good sign. Yes, we might finally have something here. Okay, let's start with these. Check that out. Ooh, the best were, team in the NFL right there. They were Giants, man. Even the lighter. All right. We have this hat. Hey, another one. Another one. Another one. <laughs> All vintage Giants hat and a Giants lighter. I'm going to drop this right down here. Let's see. What's in here? Shenandoah Caverns. They're Ooh. super nice. Uh, charger I wonder what stuff. was in there. Probably rocks. If I had to guess, once upon a time. What do you think's in here? Uh... Yeah, shaving that. kit. I knew that. Boring. That's boring. So we're ignoring this. What kind of phone is it? Just a ZTE? 
whatever that is. Why are all the backs always missing? I don't know. It's like people like as soon as they get like, oh, I knew fell, and throw the back away really quick. Put it in the case. Like you know, it fits in there with that. Whoa. What kind of papers are those? Court papers. <laughs> those look like court papers. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'll look at this in a little bit. I need to read into that. I mean, you can see this right here. County Jail Inmate Handbook. Yeah, we'll look Woo! into this in a little bit and find out. There's the interesting stuff. Yeah, there's that. Book right here. Book. Junk. Let's see what's in this. More junk. Well, we will look through the paperwork. There could be like gift card stuff in there. We found a $50 for locker card the other day, so hey. Trophy. Trophies. Basketball. Um. This is Grand Theft Auto. Yeah, Grand Theft Auto 5 for the Xbox 360. Disc 1 and 2. There's a giant shot glass. A giant Giants lighter. shot glass. <laughs> there was a giant's mug, but they broke the handle off. Glasses and the rest of the trophy. So, at least it's somewhat interesting. Might not be much value, but it's somewhat interesting. What's under it? Another few boxes. Let's see. No zombies. Zombie or zombies only. <laughs> Let's pull out this new valve box first. Oh, look at that giant's whatever that is. What do we have here? Well, it looks more Speaker. random here. What are these, hockey pucks? Hockey pucks. Huh. Hey, the Richmond Renegades. All right, I have no idea who they are. I don't watch hockey at all. And there's a metal, this is a metal car. Let's see if there's a year, oh, it's an aftershave. It's not even a car. <laughs> So maybe it's glass, but a couple hockey pucks are there. What's this, the speaker again? Yeah. All right, all right. Let's get this out of the way. At least this is a little bit more interesting. And the Nike box has a clock, a trophy, a basketball bank, nothing in it. And what is this, a drone? Looks like a mini drone. Get out. Well, it looks like a mini drone. It has a camera on it too, look at that. Hmm. That could be interesting. What's that arm thing in the corner? Hoping the... Oh, this is the thing you plug up to your car, isn't it? That gives you like the code when your lights are on? Is that what the input looks like? Yeah. Yeah, it does. Cool. Cool. Let's get this out. And underneath that, JMU, book bag, New York Giants, lunchbox. Nothing's in the book bag though. But a Jazz Sport bag underneath that. And that is it. So. I mean, there's still really nothing that valuable in there, but at least it was interesting, right? So, bag of Christmas balls. I wanted to say bag of balls, but that wouldn't sound good. Bag of Christmas balls. We'll sell them at the yard sale tomorrow. Uh, let's get this thing out. Ugh. Let's see what's in here. Hopefully, it's something more interesting. Mr. Grinch. Oh, Mr. Boy. Grinch. You're a mean one. Let's see. All right, so. Well, there's Rudolph and his little trumpet. I wonder if this is old or this is new. No, they don't put a date on it because that's too easy. Actually, there's no way that dates right. Look at that. Yeah. 1958. There's no way they would have charged 20 bucks for this back then. So yeah. I don't know what that is. Uh, this. A peacock. A peacock. There's the Grinch. You're a mean one. <laughs> but can I say the cartoon 30 minute thing is way better than all the realistic movies by a long shot. Cartoon movie? It's like, all right, but the cartoon ones are so classic. Peacock stuff. Why do you have peacock stuff? They <laughs> like peacocks. That's such a random thing to like. like not to like, it's not like I dislike, I just have this thing out for peacocks, but it's just such a random thing to like, I want to go to the store and buy peacock stuff. <laughs> what is that? I like how they look. Peacock. They have nice colors. Yeah, they do. No, they're really pretty in real life, but it's just kind of, just, I don't know. <laughs> it's just odd, right? And this is all Peacock Home Decor with a giant R. Where's the R for? Like all the names we've found so far, I just keep finding more and more names on boxes. Not one of them has started with an R yet. Kind of strange. So I just pulled out this table with weird bubbles in it. I don't really know why there's bubbles in it, but the bubble table makes it worth more. And this box looks like it might be frames, but oh no, they're actual pictures. People already put in there. These are their wedding pictures. All right. That'll go back. Let's see if that's all they are. Yeah, this is like all wedding photos. Let me make sure that all the way down is. Yep, this one's, no, this one's like baby photo. So, I think that's all that's in here. 
Yeah, that's all that's in this box. So this box, I'll just go back. So I just went ahead and opened this box. I was about to not show it. And I was like, you know what? No, I want to give you the full experience. Everything that's in here. A toaster, a pan. Yeah, that's Pyrex, but it's absolutely disgusting. So I don't know if it'll come clean. And another coffee pot, which we'll usually get out five bucks for at ER too. And this is, I don't want to know. It's like something circular with a hole in the middle, which scares me just a little bit. Let's see if I can pull it out of one of their 10,000 pillowcases. Oh, an ashtray. All right. My favorites. All right, this box gotta go. Next box, kitchen stuff and poster. Don't just keep those together. Yeah. Let's see what the poster is at least. Probably just one of those like $5 ones from Walmart. Ooh, boy. Oh, boy. Wow. <laughs> Some kind of art thing. What is this? <laughs> That's all I've said this whole time. Everything I open, I'm like, what is this? What is that? What? Just what? Is this one Pyrex? No, probably too clean. Yeah, no. <laughs> it wouldn't be that clean. Uh, kitchen stuff. Sarcasms helping me get through this. I have to be sarcastic. It's just the only way right now. So just pull down the first black bag, and what do you think it is? It's a freaking bag full of rugs. Rugs. <laughs> like, it's like somebody designed it to find, like, if they, like, scanned my brain, like, they scanned it and they, like, made a list of the least possible interesting things in my brain, and then they just decided to come out here and put a unit together based on those thoughts. <laughs> this is that unit so far. It's driving me crazy. So check that out. That, to me, Looks like a wedding dress. Weirdly enough, for the pictures I just seen, not this dress. So, I don't know where it came from. Maybe it's a previous marriage. I don't know. Maybe it's something that happened after the pictures. Your guess is as good as mine, but do people buy used wedding dresses? I feel like it's our first time finding one, like, still in a thing like that. Let's hope so. So I saw this sitting up here like this, right? I saw the side and my brain was like thinking, something worth money, it's gotta be a Mac. And then my logic hit and said, that Mac is worth money, therefore, they wouldn't put it in this unit. It wouldn't be in here. So, no, it's a freaking busy, a little TV, but still, you know, 20, 25 bucks if it's not cracked internally. Fingers crossed. So we have a pink, like, little outdoor table, I'm assuming, like a very tiny outdoor table. Like, I'm just keep moving stuff, like, hoping that eventually something's gonna look interesting, but I just don't think it's in here. Here's another chair, another chair. These are at least new, look. Yeah. Let's see what the price tags on those say. And of course, that would be too easy if they put those on there. Mm -hmm. So, no idea what it's worth. Actually, in the barcode, it's 13 bucks. 13 piece. bucks. Um, trash can. More Christmas wrapping paper. Yeah, the trash can's got the top at least. <laughs> so, it's got the little foot thing if you want to feel fancy because, you know, lifting the lid's hard. That. What is this stool all the way in the back? What is it? It's a stool. All right. <laughs> Table. Uh, yeah. No way sitting on that. Hey, maybe. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Oh boy, blankets. My favorite. I just oh, love. Wow. Stuffed animals. Look how yellow he is. I know. He's Poor barely animal. even white anymore. Hey, something looks interesting. Oh my gosh. I've got to be looking at him here. Let's pull it out. Is there something interesting? Put it on the table. Put it. Huh? Table. Is a record player? Um, yes. It is. Check that out. It's actually got a record in it. Hmm, huh, not bad at all. What's the brand on that say? Can you bring the light around the front? Yeah. What does that say? Um, Emerson. Emerson, okay. Is there a model number on the back? Do you see one? Um, Emerson model number NR303TT. All right, that is for my editing purposes so I can pop the <laughs> price up on sold listings if it works. But that's got to be the best thing we pull out of this unit so far. Let's get some stuff out the way and see if there's anything else hidden in the back. I do have to say, I know this is going to be crazy, but there's a positive here, right? Crazy. <laughs> the dining room chairs. I love this color combination. This is like my color combo here, this red, black, and white. I just love it. I don't know what I'm going to do with them because I didn't even put a dining room table in the house because we don't ever use it, so they do look nice though. Maybe we'll find a use for them. Maybe we'll sell them. I don't know. So just pull down this bag. It feels like toys. Let's make sure that's what it is. Yeah, it is toys. So there's a weird box in here. If I can get it out, we'll see what's in it. 
toolbox. With carpets. <laughs> I want to cry. And this is just all oh, more crappy cheap toys. I do see a giant transformer. Look up here. Oh. Hey, oh, big boy. That is a giant transformer. Yeah, that's a giant transformer, all right. But I'm gonna assume it's gonna be newer because if it was older, it would probably have value. So let's see if I can find a date on him. Looks like it should be right there. Yeah, 2015 huh. on this big guy. Still but, have some value. Yeah, he might be worth a little bit of something because it's one of those franchises that people just love to death. So maybe he has some value, but probably not worth very much. But if he was old now, probably a lot of value. I also see down here, Spider-Man. You gotta be broken somewhere, buddy. Oh no, He actually shoots out stuff. He has a spider web on him. Yeah, he does. <laughs> he probably has a spider on him too. Let's see if we can find a date on Spider-Man. He's got information on his foot. But that information is not include a date. 2017, so he's not that old either. But maybe again, because he's Spider-Man, he'll have some value. How do I shoot his web out? I don't know. That's gotta be what that's for. Yeah. I would think. He sounded automated when you rotated him. So yeah. maybe we'll find pieces and make him do something. Maybe. I gotta bring this out and show it to you. This is the best thing yet. It's a ramen noodle box full of string or something yeah. taped to a metal thing. Yeah, this is the kind of stuff you look <laughs> for when you buy storage units. Just like almost every item I pull out, I just look at like what was your intentions? What was the reasoning behind this? Explain the logic and rationale to me. I just don't know. I really don't freaking know. So this bag looks like it has a laptop in it. It feels like a laptop. Let's hope it's one that's not a billion years old. The cracked screen and glued in keys and you know, the whole thing. Mm. Can already see stickiness, I already feel stickiness. And we're gonna open it up to a crappy processor, aren't we? Windows 7, it doesn't even have the thing listed. An Intel Celeron inside. Okay, compact. <sighs> There's the missing keys. Staple of storage unit laptops always. You don't put them in storage unless they're sticky. It's sticky all over. It's missing <laughs> keys. The only thing it's missing is the battery falling out. No, the battery's there. Right. Usually the battery's gone or taped in, one of the two. So at least there's that. Maybe it has some type of value, but since it has Windows 7, it's probably older. It doesn't, but is there anything else in this unit that looks semi-interesting? What is that? Drop mix. Music oh. mixing game. Let's bring it up. Huh. Kind of strange. What's actually in here? Just pillows? <laughs> no, it's there, whatever it is. Hmm. Never heard of a drop mix game. Drop mix game. It's got the cards with it and things like that. Interesting. Hmm. Yeah, definitely different. Bluetooth smart. We'll definitely look it up. So this looks like a rug or like a floor mat with Batman on it. Batman, that Flash. That's like Superman and Green Lantern. Cool. That's kind of cool. Might be worth a little something. <sighs> Not even gonna ask. This thing right here, whatever that is, just go there. Leave me alone. Uh, <laughs> this, who freaking knows? New York picture. So it looks like one of those like things you put on your wall that have a bunch of little picture frames in it, and that's exactly what it is. So no use again. Well, the only other thing in here, oh, those are the shelves to this. <laughs> it's fixed with like two nice bullet holes through it. Because nice. It wouldn't be worth it. It wouldn't be in here if it didn't have bullet holes. Um, no, realistically, it's probably for wires, but glasses. Elf. Um, glasses. Uh, something can we find, please? <laughs> Come on, open you. Have cash in it or something. Of course not. Lego. No. Bunch of freaking Lego booklets. Where's all the kits at? Dang it. <laughs> so, nothing in there. Nothing in here. The only other thing left is this giant box under the table. Another Oops. Christmas tree. <laughs> oh boy, my favorite. Look under the table. You see the giant chest? Yep. Maybe. The only hope we have, those Lego kits that are in the booklets are in there, could be in the box. 
Maybe, but highly unlikely. Let's pull it out and see. Hear this rattle? I don't think it could be all Legos. All Legos? Don't they all... be Legos by the pound? Yeah, if it's Legos, we could possibly recoup some of our money from this unit. <laughs> please be Legos. Please be Legos. Yes! There it is. There's something. It's all Legos, isn't it? It's pretty much Legos all the way down. Look at these. Lego guys right here. Oh. Oh. Okay, are these actual Legos or these some off brand? Another Lego, yeah. <laughs> we have a chance, guys. We have a chance. <laughs> Look at all these Legos. Oh. The saving grace. This could be the saving grace to get some of our money back. I mean, <laughs> we have some yard sale items here and there, but there's been not one thing to pull out of here of any significant value but this could be a good find even by the pound i think that could be a good find but for now i think it's time to pack the truck up go home search through the crap i mean stuff and see if there's anything in there no i meant crap i'm not even gonna lie so it's crap sort through the crap see if there's anything we missed and then we'll come back and recap it for you so before we start the recap i want to show you our auction table live auction is tomorrow guys 3 p.m eastern time we have all kinds of epic stuff including all the legos you saw is just fine we've already divided them up so let me go run through the table real quick make sure you guys go set the reminder for that live auction now and make sure you show up tomorrow because there's gonna be some epic stuff so check this out four large flat rate boxes all of them completely full just like this of legos now we kind of sifted through it i would say it's about 85 to 90 percent lego there's some of those like mega blocks and stuff mixed in but i would say 85 percent at least if not 90 percent lego and we're gonna have four full boxes of those we have another lot of watches i think there's about 15 watches in here including some of the high-end ones that you guys saw in the big unit so that's in there we have the two sterling silver necklaces we're going to be auctioned separately check them out sterling silver right there along with a lot of all the 18 karat gold plated necklaces going right here this is a sterling silver cross that was also found i think the last unit along with that watch that was new in the box it's still ticking we have the football that's signed by five players from the buffalo bills 2015 going up for auction we also have a lot of stuff here that we found a while back like in california that we just haven't auctioned yet so we have a gigantic box of probably a few thousand star trek cards right here these are all the star trek cards that they put in protector cases i put them all as their own lot because i'm assuming if they put the a select few in cases they might be rarer two different lots there we have a lot of around 50 different comics going here as one big lot the antique cars you saw us find in the military trunk unit all three did you hear that all three of those will be going as one lot we have one random box over here and we got one jewelry box that's it <coughs> this came out of the big unit some of the stuff we unwrapped it's just a lot of dolphins so we'll see if anyone wants these and one two three lots of dvds blu-rays different movies we have over 200 i would say dvds total if you remember the big box from the big unit we had to break it up into three different things somebody will get a microwave box full of dvds so that's the lots for tomorrow and there's the legos as part of the recap because that's probably the best thing that came out of it now let's go into the garage let's do a little bit more of a recap let's do a recap with the rest there really isn't much to show you but let me show you the few things we did miss first i forgot to put these on the table but these are going to be up for auction too so they had a set of these collectible nightmare before christmas figures there's actually one two three four five six of them all together so six of those then they also had a little collection of these they're beanie baby branded but they're like felt animals i don't really know I mean, if they're so it calls it flocked yeah on pop so. things like, you collect Funko pops that's called a flock <laughs> so i don't know what those go for we'll put them up for auction to see who wants them i think there's one two three four five six seven of those as well the little car checking thing we got to check it make sure it works but on if it works it's like 40 bucks on ebay so that's cool and then this actually surprisingly it cuts on i've been trying to play a record but that's 80 dollars pre-owned on ebay so that's a good find between this and this it's like 120 bucks but other than that 
that's it. There's some dishware that we're gonna look into. Most of it's cheap, but there's a few like China ones that we're gonna look into and things like that. But tomorrow, if you're in the Virginia area, we're gonna be having a massive yard sale and selling pretty much everything we have over here for $1 a piece. So, all right, you guys know that I've watched this for a while. All the time in December, we always like to have one video where we do something really helpful for kids and things like that, give away toys and stuff like that. So what we're doing is every single dollar worth of stuff we sell tomorrow, we're gonna gather up, add in some extra cash of our own, and go to a store and just buy a humongous amount of toys, probably like, I don't know, a lot of toys. And I haven't decided if we're gonna do something here or we let people come in and get toys, but you know, with COVID right now, that might get us in some type of trouble and some people might not wanna come. Or we're gonna do something like we did in California where we literally load our truck up with toys, have families in need message us, and then we'll drive around delivering toys in this area too, because that was pretty fun. I really did enjoy that. So that's the plan of the yard sale. We're gonna get rid of everything for a dollar. Hopefully a lot of people show up and hopefully we make a lot of money because the more money we make the yard sale, the more money we're gonna to have to go buy stuff we wanna do for the toys. So. Overall, that unit kind of sucked, but with the Legos and these few things, it's all right. I think we'll be at least break even, make a little bit of money. So that's what happens sometimes. We show you the reality of it, the good and the bad. So if you enjoyed it, leave it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and until next time, peace out.